Jesus, I praise you, Lord. Magnify your holy name, God. Lord of God, Lord of God, Lord of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. I appreciate the Lord, and I'm grateful to be in the house of God and, and with the saints of God this morning. And uh, just a great privilege and honor that I, I wished I could, had the words to express um, the, the joy of my heart that it is to be here. Praise God. And also the nervousness of my mental system. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, but I love you and I appreciate you. And I want you to obey the Lord. We've come to have church. Praise God. And I don't know, homeless folks say that, you know, and they got a particular, uh, sometimes a particular thing in mind when, that, when they say that. But why don't we just let God have church? Praise God. Lord of God. We'll just go along with whatever God's got. Amen. Just however he fixes it, that's what we'll do. Praise God. Lord of God. Now, I've got another song that I wrote this morning. And after yesterday, you're probably scared to death. Praise God. Lord of God. You know, I know my God can bless better than the devil can hinder. Y'all know that? I know my God is greater than the enemy. Praise God. I know that for a fact. Praise God. Well, man, when it rains, it really pours. When you think God's done it all, here comes more. Storm clouds are gathering, looks like one more shower of joy. Man, when it rains, it really pours. Oh, man, when it rains, it really pours. When you think God's done it all, here comes more. The storm clouds are gathering, looks like one more shower of joy. Man, when it rains, it really pours. Now here the devil comes with a load of grief I'm gonna lay it down at my Savior's feet It's there he turns my sorrows into joy And man, when it rains, it really pours I said, man, when it rains, it really pours When you think I've done it all, here comes more There were 120 souls that had been blood bought. They were waiting for that promise from on high. When that mighty rushing wind came by, I said, Man, when it rains, it really pours. When you think I've done it all, here come more. The storm clouds are gathering. Like one more shower of joy, man, when it rains, it really pours. Praise God. Most of y'all know I was I had a real bad spell of sickness there for a good while. Hey Amen. I, I was laid up and without any income for 18 months. Hey Amen. And, and not knowing where the next dollar come from. Praise God. And I and I lived through that by God's mercies. Hey Amen. And God provided in so many different ways. My wife drove me everywhere for 18 months. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I lived through it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. We was there in one particular time and, and, and didn't know where in the world anything was coming from. And I got a call from a preacher and he said he wanted to come up for a while and just play some music. And so he come up to the house and they brought his music with him. And the brother brought his banjo with him and praise God. And there we were in the, in the living room of the house and praise God. And uh, we were just trying to have church right there in the house. Our house became the house of God. Praise God. Got ready to leave. My wife fixed uh, some cake and jello, I believe it was. Amen. And wasn't that what it was, Brother Jerry? <laughs> the Lord of God. Fix some cake and jello, and and uh, when I got ready to leave, uh, my brother stuck a check in my hand, you know, and and I, I always when somebody does that, I, I stick it in my pocket. Amen. I want to look at it so bad. Praise God. 
Now, I know y'all ain't like that. Hallelujah. But I wanted to look at it so bad. Praise God. And, and I thought it might be a hundred dollars or something other, you know, and we could go on to church. We was having problems even getting gas to go to the house of God. And when I did go, you know, and anyway, praise God, after that was over with. Hey Amen. And they all got down the road and it got far enough out of sight. I thought I could look at the thing. <laughs> Woo! I unfolded that thing and it had several zeros on it. Praise God. I mean, several zeros. I mean, I, you know, one zero is enough. Praise God. Two zeros is amazing. Hey Amen. It had a third zero on that thing. Do you know a check weighs the same whether it's got one zero or three zeros on it? I don't know what God's got for you today. You may come into this service this morning. Hey, Ben, I feel like you just got a dollar check in your pocket. It may be right now God's going to unfold that thing and tell it to take a look at it. Glory to God. And you'll find out all of heaven is wound up in that little note. Praise God. And God wants to help you. God wants to help you. Amen. And I'll tell you what he wants to do. He wants to open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you cannot even receive. Amen. For the greatness of it. Because he's a great God. Amen. And he's greatly, he greatly loves his people. Amen. We are undeserving. Amen. We don't deserve it. Amen. But my God loves us. Hallelujah. Oh, would you worship the Lord just a minute? Praise God. We'll hear the devil come with a load of grief. I praise it. Laying it down at my Savior's feet. It's there it turns my sorrows into joy. <laughs> and man, when it rained, it really poured. Well, man, when it rained, it really pours. When you think God's done it all, here comes more. Shout a joy, man, when it rains, it really falls. Well, on the day of Pentecost, there were 120 souls that had been blood bought. They were waiting for that promise from on high. When that mighty rushing wind came by. Thank you. 
joy. Man, when it rains, it's really full. Now here the devil comes with a load of grief. I'm gonna lay it down at my Savior's feet. It's there he turns my sorrows into joy. And man, when it rains, it really pours. you safe a mighty long way. Praise God. Oh, bless your holy name, Lord. I said, man, when it rains, it really pours. When you think I've done it all, here comes more. like one more shower of joy. Man, when it rains, it really pours. Now here the devil comes with a load of grief. I'm laying it down at my Savior's feet. It's there he turns my sorrows into joy. And man, when it rains, it really pours. Oh man, when it rains, it really pours. When you think I've done it all, here comes more. The storm clouds are gathering, looks like one more shower of joy. Man, when it rains, it really falls. Oh, sweet Holy Ghost, sweet power of God. Oh, your mercy is magnificent. This morning, amen, with a burdened down heart. Amen, my God is able to turn that thing around. Amen, and take away the sorrow. Amen, and give you a dipper full of joy. Amen, and not only a dipper, but give you a whole bucket full. Amen, and then if the bucket won't suffice, he'll just put the whole well in, Lord of God. Amen, the well of salvation is open. Amen, there's a there's an opening here for you. Amen, if you need something from God, glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's raise our hands and worship Him just a moment. We want His will in this service. We want His will. Oh, God. Oh, God. (laughs) We've come, Lord, to worship you. (laughs) However, Lord, you want it, God. You choose our steps, Lord. God, you you choose this for us, Lord. (laughs) Glory, 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 glory. Oh, sweet Holy Ghost. Oh, sweet Holy Ghost. Oh, one more time. Let's lift our hands. Give Him a praise. God, we thank You, Lord. We praise Your holy name, Lord. 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Quicken our mortal bodies, Lord. Quicken our minds. Quicken our souls to worship you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its worth. I wish I could sing that. Oh, glory. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead.
will never change. I know God is God, and He always will be God. He's God when the lightning flashes. He's God, He's God when the thunder rolls. He's God way up in heaven. He's God, God down in my soul. I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God, and He always will be God. He's God of the Hebrew children. He's God of Abraham. He's God in the fiery furnace. He's a God the way I am, and I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God, and He always will be God. He's God in Oklahoma. He's God in Tennessee. He's God right here in Virginia, and He's God all over me. I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God, and He always will be God. He's God in the Father. He's God in the Son. He's God in the Holy Ghost. God all three in one, and I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God. And it always will be God. He's God that heals my body. He's, He's God, God that saved my soul. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. God, God that made me whole. I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God. Well, it always will be God. Well, He's God that heals my body. He's God that saved my soul. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. God that made me whole, and I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God, and He always will be God. He's God when I sing. He's God when I pray. He's God when I testify. I would like to say, I know God is God. God don't ever change. I know God is God. And he always will be God. Praise God. Lift your hands to heaven. Let's praise him again. Father, we thank you, Lord, and praise your holy name. I'm a grand lad, Lord. to the Lamb of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can I preach to you just a minute? Lord to God. I, I appreciate you. Amen. More than, more than I have words to say. Amen. I really don't think there have been words invented to say what we need to say to one another. Praise God. And uh, we love you and we appreciate you. We thank you so much for the offering. Amen. We're, we're grateful for it. And uh, we're, I, I know some people sacrifice in the offering, and I'd like to tell you that we really appreciate it. We'll try our best to use it wisely for the kingdom of God. Amen. We'll choose the best bargains off the McDonald's menu. Hallelujah. You know, I'm not sure number 20 is a filet of fish, and I'm not sure really that the filet is a fish. Hallelujah. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll use it wisely. Lord, help us. Praise God. Uh, I was studying this morning, and, and um, Brother Ricky and Sister Tracy um, Kelly have been so uh, such precious friends to us. And, not, and, and this doesn't only apply to them, but I, I'd like to recognize them. Amen. The last couple nights, we've had to head on home. Amen. You know, it's hard on an old man to do a lot of traveling and preaching, too. Praise God. And so... We've been leaving uh, after the service is over with, not because we don't fell, uh, we honor and, and desire your fellowship. It's just because um, the flesh is weak. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we, um, we got home about 1 o'clock this morning, and that was leaving right after service. And so that's kind of the deal we got, you know. So, uh, But they went and fixed us some, uh, a plate and sent it on home. Praise God. And I'm going to end up here fat er. When the meeting's over with and when I went in, praise God. And uh, But I appreciate them. And they didn't have to do that. One night was even in the rain uh, that they went down there. Y'all praying for Muhammad, aren't you? That special request last night that Muhammad would come to the house of God tonight. Amen. Give his heart to the Lord. Praise God. This is a, this is a poem in a little book that I have. It's by Mary Dow Bryan. 
And uh, it, the title of the poem it says, How Little It Costs. How little it costs if we give it a thought to make happy some heart each day. Just one kind word or a tender smile as we go on our daily way. Perchance a look will suffice to clear the cloud from a neighbor's face and the press of a hand in sympathy, a sorrowful tear efface. One walks in sunlight, another goes all wearily in the shade. One treads a path that is fair and smooth, another must pray for aid. Or ways that are rough with stumbling stones where the tired feet go slow. One sees with eyes which are glad and bright, another's with tears or flow. We pass each other as days go by, but we seldom have time to heed. We who are filled with our own content, how much our neighbors may need. Can't we stop to just give a kindly smile or a tender word or so? Or only one glance of sympathy, which might to some sad heart go. And kindle therein a glow of trust and dry the falling tears and help sweet faith to revive again in the place of grief and fears. It costs so little, I wonder why we give it so little thought. A smile, kind words, a glance, a touch. What magic with them is wrought. Praise God. God help us to live that. That's what the Lord has asked us to do. Praise God. In the Bible, in the Song of Solomon, chapter number 7. If you'll turn there with me, the Song of Solomon, chapter number 7. Praise God. And I, I really desire your prayers. Amen. I, I, I can stumble around here and, and just, and just wear, wear you to death. Or you can pray for me and, I'm, and, and the Lord will help me. Amen. And I'll feel better and you'll feel better and we'll all feel better. Praise God. All right. I, wanna, I, I need to preach to you. Amen. Song of Solomon, chapter number 7. Amen. I'm going to read just a portion of a verse. I don't usually do this, but I feel like that I need to do this today. Amen. Song of Solomon, chapter number 7 and verse number 1. How beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O princess daughter. Praise God. Would you help me pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the word of God. And we're grateful, Lord, for his power and his might, God. We're grateful, Lord, for our brothers and sisters, Lord, and, and the fellowship and, and the blessedness, Lord, of knowing each other. And but we're praying, Lord, that you would come by, Lord, and you would you would overshadow this place with your magnificence, Lord, and, and your omniscience, Lord, would come by, Lord, and your omnipresence, God, would fill our souls and, and God that the the wooing of the Holy Ghost, Lord, would work among us, God. And, and that you would put in our hearts, Lord, the things that need to be said, God. And you would anoint my lips of clay, Lord, and anoint our ears and our hearts to receive as a, as a church, Lord, to come to this altar later, God. And you would bless and open up the windows of glory, Lord, and pour out in this service, God. For we desire, Lord, to please you and to get nigh you. And we'll fail not to give you the praise and honor and glory. For it's in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise God. Lord to God, I appreciate the Lord, and and uh, and uh, I, sometimes when I get to saying stuff, and I think about, man, you shouldn't have said that. Praise God. I didn't say I got home at one o'clock just just so y'all feel sorry for me. Hey, Amen. I, I said it because I wanted you to know why I have so many wrinkles. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, and you know, an old preacher is is blessed. I mean, we got more we got more face than we had. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. We can make faces we couldn't used to make. Hey, Amen. Because we've got a lot of extra to work with. Glory to God. Uh, I love you and I appreciate you. Praise God. I, when I, The Lord gave me this message and, and I couldn't come up with a thought like this by myself. Amen. And, I, and when, I, when I read this and, and, and began to study this in the, in the Word of God, amen, it came to my, my thought immediately, amen, about the strangeness of this Scripture. Amen. It doesn't, doesn't seem like, amen, the rest of the Scriptures in the Song of Solomon. Amen. The Song of Solomon is a spiritual book. Amen. And uh, brother, my brother preached really good last night on the dog and the dove. Amen. You need to let the dove go when you read the Song of Solomon. Praise God. Amen. You don't need to read that in the flesh. It needs to be read in the Spirit of God. And don't touch it. Amen. Unless you can do that. Praise God. 
Now, oh, come on now. Y'all looking at me funny, but I'm telling you the truth. Praise God. And there in that book, amen, when the Bible said, amen, how beautiful are thy feet with shoes, O prince's daughter. Amen. It, it seems a little uh, a little out of kelter, amen, because usually, amen, when we're praising the uh, graces of another, amen, we, we don't bring in, amen, the shoes uh, that they have on their feet. Amen. That would have that been more... Uh, Probably appropriate in my in my thought. If I was thinking that in that manner, I would have said something about the beauty of of the feet. Praise God! But the Bible didn't say that. Hey Amen. The Word of God says, "How beautiful, hey Amen, are thy feet with shoes, uh, old uh, old uh, a princess daughter." Glory to God. Hey Amen. I'll tell you something else. Hey, hey, you young folks, you ought to listen to that. Hey Amen. You're a lot prettier with clothes on. Glory to God. Come on, help me preach just a minute. Glory to God. God. Hallelujah. But that, uh, how, how, uh, how beautiful are thy feet, O oh, princess daughter. Amen. This book is a book but of, uh, concerning the love of Christ and the church and the bride of Christ. Amen. As the expression of love. Amen. Throughout this. And here, amen, is the Lord looking upon his bride and he's saying, How beautiful are your feet with shoes. Amen. Oh, who was that prince? Amen they're talking about. I believe he was a prince of peace. The king of kings and the lord of lords. Amen. The one that bought us upon the cross of Calvary whose blood ran that we might have freedom. Praise the Lamb of God. Amen. And he's looking at us and he's saying how beautiful. Amen. Are your feet with shoes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, help me preach just a minute. Amen. There's a lot of things that I need to bring in. Amen. I don't know Oh, amen if I can or not amen but I remember Paul when he admonished us in Ephesians chapter 6 amen that we ought to put on the whole armor of God amen we ought to put on the helmet of salvation amen the breastplate of righteousness have our loins girt about a truth or the belt of truth amen have our feet shod with the gospel the preparation of the gospel of peace amen I tell you what he said amen you ought to have some shoes upon your feet. Come on, help me preach a minute. Hey, man, the psalmist, uh, uh, praise God, the first Samuel, uh, chapter 2 and verse 9, uh, the Bible says, He will keep the feet of His saints, uh, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, uh, for by strength shall no man prevail. Uh, hey, man, uh, but I want to tell you, I want to preach to you. Uh, hey, man, uh, here the Bible promises us, uh, hey, man, that the Lord God will keep our feet. Uh, but I want to preach to you, uh, it's all all about the shoes. Hallelujah. It's all about the shoes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know much about it. I started to think, brother. I, 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 I even questioned my wife coming down the road. I don't know much about shoes. I honestly don't. Hey, man, I know Dr. Scholes is a top brand. Hallelujah. Praise God, because I own a few pair of them. <laughs> Glory to God. I, I do know about Nike. Amen. And, and Converse. And, and uh, uh, praise God. Uh, that preacher last night was wearing Buster Brown. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all didn't get that, did you? <laughs> oh, that? You got Prava. Uh, was it Prava? Oh, you say that Prada? You, you don't know what I'm talking about? Thank God. There's somebody who know what I'm talking about. Anybody got Prada? Oh, you don't have to raise your hand, brother. Don't raise your hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, help me preach a minute. You know, I, I, when I... When I I, my favorite, one of my favorite authors is, and he, he wrote a book about feet. Praise God, Dr. Seuss. Hallelujah. Left feet, right feet. You know, we, don't you laugh. It's your favorite author too. Praise God. Hallelujah. He wrote a book about feet. Amen. And, and, and all about feet. Praise God. Long feet, short feet. We was coming to church the other day, and the Lord just had dealt with me about this message. And I passed a guy out here on 522, and, and he wasn't coming to church. Praise God. He was going away. Amen. And they, on them motorcycles, they got 
Uh, they got a they got a crash bar, you know. They, they need one, praise God. And they got a, that chrome comes out to the side there, and that's in case that thing falls. Hey man, you still got legs left for them to work on when you get to the hospital. <laughs> praise God. And but he had he had also he had highway pegs out on the side of that thing, and and that's where they fasten these little pegs out on the side. Hey man, they can kick back and stick their feet all the way out there. Hey man, this guy should not have had highway pegs. That dude has some. Feet. I mean, they look like boats. Praise God. Uh, hanging out there. I told my wife if I was riding that motorcycle and I was him, I'd have somebody ahead with wide load. Uh, amen. And somebody behind uh, with wide load. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, but our God, uh, amen, wants us, uh, amen, to have the shoes uh, of the gospel of peace. Amen. He wants us to be prepared. Uh, amen. You see, shoes uh, are something that's necessary in this life. Uh, amen. Because it's something, uh, amen, that protects our our walk. God is concerned with the way that we walk. Amen. God is concerned about where we walk in the manner that we walk in. Amen. Isaiah chapter number 3. Amen. Talks about the daughters of Jerusalem. They walk with mincing steps. Amen. I got a feeling it was something to do with their shoes. Hallelujah. Oh, come on now. Help me preach a minute. Glory to God. Amen. It seems to me like when God looked down and he saw that Amen. the virgin of the church Amen. That he looked upon her. Amen. And he said, Oh, that beautiful gospel. Amen. Has covered the doings of my child. Amen. That beautiful gospel. Amen. Has covered their goings. And they go where I want them to. And they stay where I want them to stay. Amen. Oh, you ain't helping me. Amen. And when they go there, Amen. They go there with a purpose. Amen. They stay with a purpose. Amen. They maintain a purpose while they're there. Amen. And I want to tell you, it's all about the shoes hallelujah glory to God hallelujah I, I, I was coming down the road and I, I thought about hey man, how this shoe was made and I, I thought hey man, it must have redeemed souls hallelujah the soul must be redeemed. Amen. And that shoe, that bottom part of the shoe is called a soul. Amen. But I thought it ought to be a redeemed a soul. It ought to have a heal. Amen. By faith. Praise God. That faith. Amen. That sustains us. Amen. That picks us up. Amen. It ought to be the heel of faith. Amen. We ought to have amen, the sides of our shoes. And I'm sorry. I don't know what all this is. Amen. I'm not a cobbler by trade. Although you might think so. By my preaching, hallelujah. But the size of that, amen, ought to be the size of mercy, amen, that holds us in the path of God, amen, the toe of that shoe ought to be the leading of the precious Holy Ghost, amen, the top shiny part of that ought to be the precious ornament of charity, amen, that glow of charity, it ought to be held together with the laces of prayer, amen, God looked upon this lady and he said, how beautiful, thy feet with shoes. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh God. Shoes will give us stability. Amen. It gives stability. It makes you be able to walk in places that you could not walk before. Amen. You need stability in life. Amen. Oh help me. Gospel gives you stability. Hallelujah. You're going to have to walk over rough places. Amen. A shoe is given to you to walk over rough terrain. Amen. Through life, you're going to see some things that are, that you'd rather not walk through, but God's shoes will be enough. Hallelujah. And God's shoes will give you stability. Amen. It will give you stability as you walk through the things of life and the trials. Amen. That come your way and you'll feel the strength of God inside those shoes. When the winds of the world will whirl around you and Satan is whispering in the ear, you don't have a chance. Yet you feel the warmth of God's gospel shoes. Oh, help me preach just a minute. You'll feel the warmth of God's gospel shoes and you'll feel the stability and you'll think, man, I ought to be blown all over the place by now. Ain't been as much as going on. Ain't been, but here I am. Right where I was. Hallelujah. Here I am. Ain't been, the wind has not blown me away. And the trial has not pushed me away. And my feet ain't been, are anchored upon that rock. And my shoes have caught grip. Hallelujah. Lord God. 
Shoes give you mobility. Amen. You're able to move about. Praise God and thank God for it. Praise God. I, I, I'm, I'm concerned this morning. Amen. That there may be some in this congregation. Amen. Who are wearing uh, shoes that do not match. Amen. That there might be someone here uh, that might have missed uh, matched shoes. Praise God. Hallelujah. And now you ladies scared to death about that. Praise God, you got blue shoes and you got black shoes and they look so much alike, you have to take them outside on the porch to see which ones is which. Glory to God. You all know it's true. My, 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 I always have to say this, and please forgive me for saying it, but it, it, it makes it a lot easier on my wife if no, people don't know. Amen. My first wife died of cancer. Amen. My first wife one time, I was a pastor in the church down in, in, in Waynesboro, Virginia, and my mom and dad were down there preaching also. Amen. They were preaching at another church holding revival, and I was at the home church trying to trying to hold the fort. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and come church time, and we had both had to go to church at the same time. Well, my wife, uh, uh, she had problems with her feet and uh, neuropathy or something, and she couldn't hardly feel her feet. Amen. And, and there was a and my mom, my mom is the tall one of the family. Praise God. That's where I got my height from. Amen. And she wears a bigger shoe than my wife did, and my wife was in a hurry. Now, not only is a sight, but uh, uh, always late. Where's he at? Praise God. There he is. Praise God. Amen. A God be has been known to do that once or twice. Hallelujah. And we were running tight. I mean tight. Amen. And she jumped in the shoes. Y'all put all your shoes beside the door when you kick them off? That's the way we do it at the house. Hallelujah. We kick them off right beside the door. Hallelujah. Well, there you go. Praise God. Uh, well, we better go on. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love y'all. I love it when I got you captive. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, uh, my wife jumped in a pair of shoes. We got down to church. We singing. Amen. Congregation songs are going good. Not only the this set of God be's late, but the other set of God be's was later. <laughs> Hallelujah. They had a little leeway. Church didn't start hardly as early as ours did that night, but they was a running, hey man, against the clock. I seen my dad stick his head back door to the back uh, of the door, and I was up front. Hey man, I was trying to exhort the saints of God, and I seen my dad saying. <laughs> Praise God. And I, I went, uh, I finally uh, uh, took a break and let somebody else have it. Hey man, I went back to the door and I said, what's going on? And he said, your wife has my wife's shoes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. And, uh, and, I, uh, and so uh, I, had to, I had to take my wife out and we had to do a prisoner exchange. Hey man, out in the parking lot. Praise God. I mean, some of you today might have came in here. Hey man, you got one gospel shoe on uh, and you got another one you don't hardly know what in the world it is. Hey man, one of them's wanting to walk for God and the other one's wanting to head down a different path. Amen. Every time you get close, amen, to the holiness of God. Y'all helping me preach now. Amen. Every time you get close to the holiness of God, amen, one of them will take off in a different direction. Amen. You, you stumble around. Amen. You fall down. I'm going to tell you it's about the shoes. Praise God. It's all about the shoes. Amen. You need to get strapped up with some good old King James Version Bible. Amen. Amen. Put that thing on. Oh, shout hallelujah. Amen. And you ought to say, God put it on. Strap it up good and tight. And I'm not going to run away from this anymore. I'm not going to run away from that anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm walking straight. And I'm walking narrow. Amen. I've got the shoes on. And my shoes are no longer mismatched. I feel like God. Amen. Has put a matching set upon my my feet. Would you raise your hands and give the Lord a praise? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Now we, we wasn't raised in abject poverty. I don't want you to misunderstand that. Amen. But we, we didn't, my mom and dad, uh, uh, we, we didn't have a lot of stuff that other folks had. And I ain't mad about that. Praise God. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of glad about it. Amen. I believe it made a it made a better man out of me. I really believe that. Praise God. And, and but when we when I was a sinner, I, I was lost. How about y'all? Hallelujah. And I did lost stuff. 
And I was in, and I was in the high school, and they, they talked me out into going to basketball. And some of you know the extenuating circumstances behind that. Amen. Not because I was a good player, because I was scary. <laughs> and uh, I like to kill people when they're playing basketball, you know. I like to, you know, anyway, praise God. And, uh, and so we went, my mom went to the dollar store and bought my shoes, my tennis shoes. That's all I wore when I was growing up, dollar store tennis shoes. Amen. And, and they told me, I, I, I was, I'm preaching on mismatched shoes right now, in case you all wonder what I'm doing. Amen. I, I, there, my, my team was the Garden Green Dragons. Praise God. And uh, <laughs> they, they've gone now, but praise God. And I, but they wanted me to have green shoes. Hey man, a dollar store didn't sell green shoes. Hey man, so my mom went down to the went down to the grocery store and she bought some dye and she dyed my shoes. Praise God, and she dyed them green. Hallelujah! I was happy. Hey man, but nobody else was. <laughs> I come out there in my dollar store shoes. Hey, man, they all had green converses on. Praise God. And, and, I, and, and they was afraid to say anything to me. Hey, Amen. Because <laughs> they knew what I was there for. I was just there to hurt folks. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. And I, oh, help me preach just a minute. One day I come back uh, from practice and there laying on my bench in front of my uh, front of my locker was a pair of brand new, amen, 15 Triple E Converse tennis shoes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. That's my size. Amen. I got them on and I said, who brought this? And, and nobody would ever tell me I don't know to this day. Amen. Who brought them shoes? Amen. And left them here in my locker. Amen. But I wore them all the time. Amen. I played that stupid game. Praise God. Amen. When I came to the house of God, Amen. I came in with a pair of old shoes. Amen. Clotted. Amen. Wore out by sin and full of holes. I got down to an old time altar and I knelt down there and prayed. Amen. When I got up, Amen. I had brand new shoes. I had brand new shoes on my feet. Amen. Them shoes like to walk the gospel way. Amen. I said, Who got these shoes for me? And he said, He went to the cross of Calvary. He went all the way up on the top. And they bought me a pair of shoes. Hey, been in them shoes I've been wearing ever since. And then I walked through the valley with them. And the valley walking shoes. The Lord told the people of God after they'd walked through the 40 years in the wilderness. He said, You wear your shoes did not wear out on your feet. I've been walking in the valley. And they have not wore out. I've been at the place where he set my feet upon high places. Hey, Amen. It was the same pair of shoes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The valley walkers are the same shouters. Hey, Amen. The shouters are the valley walkers. And that's the way God has always meant it to be. Hey, Amen. God bought us a pair of shoes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's an old a Negro spiritual. Amen. It says, I got shoes. You got shoes. All of God's children got shoes, my Lord. When I get to heaven, I'm going to put on my shoes. I'm going to walk. <laughs> oh, I'm going to walk all over God's heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little bit of my heritage. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. My grandpa Ernest God was a poor man. Amen. The poor man. He got saved, and after God saved him, Amen. God made a preacher out of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My grandpa was struck into the coal mines. Amen. By black men. Praise God. Became his dearest friend. Amen. He went in the side. Y'all help me preach now. I'm talking to you. Praise God. Went into that coal mines. Amen. And back in, you had to have somebody to break you in in the coal mines. Amen. That man chose my grandfather. It was not a responsibility that you had to have. Amen. As a matter of fact, it cost you money out of your own pocket. Amen. Because you loaded coal by the car. This man was so good to my grandfather that he took him under his wing. Amen. And took him inside the coal mines. 
Amen. And worked with him. And Brother Ricky Gain knows this. I told him about this one day. Amen. He took him in the coal mines and worked with him and he made a coal miner out of him. Amen. After that, if there's any young black men came on the job, my grandpa got him. And they said, who's going to take him inside and teach him the ropes? And my grandpa said, give him to me. Hallelujah. Give him to me. Hallelujah. Some of us are here by the grace of others. Amen. Some of us have been brought into this by the grace of others. Amen. I want to tell you, amen, it's high time we started putting shoes on other folks. Amen. They put shoes on us. Amen. It's about time we put shoes on others. Amen. Come on, help me preach just a minute. I'm talking about it's all about the shoes. It is all about the shoes. Amen. The reason we shout, it's about the shoes. Amen. The reason we live right, it's about the shoes. Amen. The reason we're going to heaven, it's about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, glory, 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 glory. I wish I had a mind to think. I got a lot to say, but I can't think of it. Amen. I want to preach to you now. Amen. I want to, and this is really, I guess, why I came here today. Amen. I want to preach to you. I, I, want, to, I want to tell you, first of all, amen, you see these preachers, hey, all of us, Amen. Sometimes the Lord will anoint us. Amen. And give us a message. And it will be an inappropriate time in your life. Amen. Where God will bless it to come to you. Amen. And you may exalt that preacher up in your mind. But I want to tell you as a preacher of the gospel. It's all about the shoes. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. Or, 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 or Brother Turner. Our brother Rick again. Amen. Our brother Tim Simmons. It has nothing to do with us. It's the shoes we're wearing. Hallelujah. And the shoes we wear. Come on now. Help me preach. I know the Bible says beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. And I'll tell you why. Amen. It's not ours. <laughs> It don't belong to us. Amen. It's a blessing of God. It's the anointing. I one place he told, he been one of the children. He been Asher. He said, let Asher be blessed with children. And let him be acceptable to his brethren. And let him dip his foot in the oil. Hallelujah. Oh, every once in a while, dear saint of God. Amen. A preacher gets to dip his foot in the oil. Hallelujah. Yeah. But then he puts it in a shoe. And he said, thy shoe shall be iron and brass and so is thy days so shall thy strength be hallelujah to the Lamb of God and then we slip it into an iron shoe glory to God amen and we put it to work in the gospel of Jesus Christ amen it's about the shoes it's all about the shoes hallelujah hallelujah glory glory There are some things in the lives of everyone here that are written in the indelible ink of sorrow. The permanent marker of sorrow. When I was just a boy, my uncle, Edward Ray Godby, that's where I got my middle name after and Uncle Ray had a little girl, and her name was Margie. He called her little Margie. He man, little Margie was what we called then a waterhead baby. I'm sure there's a is a name that is more appropriate for that. I don't know what it is, amen. But we 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 weren't versed in medical terminology, and I'm still not. Amen. But they called her a waterhead baby. And I remember going seeing her when I was just a little boy. And we walked into her presence as in awe. Amen. Because we knew she wasn't going to be here long. Amen. I remember the day that they brought her down. And amen. We took her down to an old family cemetery. Amen. I was just a little, a little boy. Amen. I remember that day. Some things that get wrote that you can't erase. Amen. I, I remember that. Amen. I, I remember going up after that and, and, and being at my uncle's house and 
I remember him taking down a little pair of shoes. And they'd hold that little pair of shoes. And a cinema of memory would roll. They'd pass them along. And Brother Savage and they, when they'd hold that and then they, they'd finger the leather of that shoe. <laughs> Help me preach a minute, would you? And uh, it was a, uh, let me walk away from that thing. And it was a, uh, it was a it was a sorrowful time, hey amen. When they they get that shoe and they hold it, hallelujah. A few years ago, hey amen. I was here at the camp meeting and and I told a story about a pair of shoes I had on. Anybody remember that? And I told you that I had got that pair of shoes from a backslid preacher. Hey amen. He'd give them to me. Hey man, he said he wasn't going to need them. He's going to out, out of the house of God. He didn't need them anymore. I saw his mama crying off to the side when he gave me that, them shoes. I wore them. Hey Amen. Last year, I believe it was when I when I preached today's service here, I wore them last year. Hey man, I heard, I called his daddy up and I said, you know, how's things are going? And he said, yeah. I said, he's doing better. He's doing better. He's out. He's praying. He's doing, he's doing better. Praise God. So I loaded up him shoes. Hey, and I told him I would. I, I, I told him, I said, I got him. I said, I'm going to tell you what I do. I said, I'm going to grab his shoes. I need a pair of shoes at the time. Hey, Amen. And I, I got them shoes. You just don't find big old feet everywhere. <laughs> Amen. And I hey, had big old feet. And I, and I got them shoes. And I, and I told him, I said, now, Mark, when I get these shoes on, I, when I put them on, when I, stra- when I strap them on, I'm going to be praying for you, son. Hallelujah. And he said, he says, thank you. Hallelujah. I went back and, and saw him. Went back down there and preached a revival a while back later. He went, I went down there and, and he was, he was a doing better, brother. He's doing better. I, I was so happy. I bagged up them shoes. I carried it into the house of God. I said, Mark, I brought your shoes back, son. Hallelujah. <laughs> I hate empty shoes. I hate empty shoes. I called back the other day. I got a hold of a sorrowful father. He's sitting there holding empty shoes. He gone again. Gone again. I, I I don't know how to do this, and I still don't know how to do this. But I, I, I when I got to pondering upon this, I mean the Bible said that that there was a there was a uh, there was a commandment if I if I or a statute or uh, y'all feel it, figure out what you're supposed to call it. Amen. In the Old Testament, that if a man died, that his brother was supposed to raise up children in his name. Amen. If that if he refused to do that. Amen. They would take, that woman would take the shoe off of his foot. Praise God. You take one shoe off of his foot. And the Bible said she would spit in his face. Amen. I read the commentaries that said that meant she would spit before his face, but the Bible said she spit in his face. Amen. I, I, I'm just go by what it says. Amen. And it pulled the shoe off and, and it said forever after that his house would be called the house of him that hath the shoe loosed. Hallelujah. Last night around this altar when I was praying, now please help me. I, I, I know you're tired. But if you give me just a minute more, I'm going to quit. Hallelujah. I was praying over here. Amen. And some, somebody's praying with me. Amen. And I, and I, all of a sudden in my mind, and I, I just got to imagine, and I walked over the mountain. <laughs> I walked over the mountain down Charlottesville way down to that little old church down there. And, amen. I, I looked inside the door and there's just a bunch of piled up shoes down there. Amen. I, 
I wonder what happened to all them people in them shoes. Hey, man, I, I walked on down there to Elkton and walked into that big old church down there where they're running hundreds. And, hey, man, and I saw just piles of shoes uh, uh, pop, pop, over there on Route 11, Brother Paul, where you're at. Walked down there in the middle of that congregation there. Hey, man, I just saw piles of shoes. Uh, praise God. Oh, help me preach just a minute. Hallelujah. One of these days, uh, hey, one of these days, uh, hey, man, one of two favorite, 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 uh, hey, man, ain't that good language? Would you like to be able to speak like that? Hallelujah. Favorite, uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Two of my most favorite people in the world are brother and sister Savage. Amen. And I was seeing sister Savage walk out of the house of God the other night and I saw her. Amen. As her feet were swelled. Amen. And, and, and I hope I don't embarrass her. Amen. She's walking out and her feet were swelled. Amen. And I, and I saw her. Amen. Sometimes the pain that she has in her feet. And I thought one of these days, <laughs> one of these days, it's going to be some empty shoes there. And I wonder if this generation is going to be the generation of him that hath his shoe loose. Come on here, son. I told you you're in dangerous ground on that front page, that front front thing. I warned him. He's going to size shoes you got. Fourteen. Man, you can wear these. Grab them on. Hallelujah. Don't worry, son. You grow into them. You get fat. Your feet are spread out. This is the will of God. What size shoes you got, brother? Elevens. Man, that's a big old shoe. Hallelujah. Who's got a 10 here? You young people, who's got a 10? Come on up here, preacher. Praise God. You're going to have how many kids? <laughs> that's okay, brother. I'm just... Who's going to take his shoes? Who's going to lead the family in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost? Who's going to teach them the Word of God? Teach them to keep their feet in the house of God? Will it be you? I got the ones without the holes in them, honey. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. My Lord, in the last, the last thing that he did before the cross, is he gathered together his disciples in that upper room. After the supper was over with, he girded a towel around him. He, man, he got a basin of water. Now listen to me. I'm an old-fashioned wholeness preacher. I love communion services. I really do. I love them. Praise God. And I tell you the truth. We ought to have old-fashioned foot washings. Praise God. Woo, come on. Help me preach a minute. Hallelujah. Anyway, amen there. Amen in the last days of his life. Amen when he gathered all them together and he took that position of the lowliest Hebrew servant. Amen got down. Praise God got that got that water, Sister Thompson. Amen dipped his hands in there. Began to wash those men's feet. Amen. One of them was going to hang him on the cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. They got, got them all down there and began to, and began to do that. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, brother, reach in that, that front 
thing there. Amen. Bring it to me, would you? Praise God. And when they did, amen, he told what Simon Peter said. He said, Lord, if thou wash my feet. Amen. And he said, you know, and he said, you can't do it, Lord. i not wash my feet. The Lord looked at him. Amen. He said, if I wash not your feet, you have no part with me. Amen. Oh, glory, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Amen. And he replied to him, not my feet, but my head and my hands also. Amen. The Lord said, you not. You don't have to have that. I tell you why you don't have to have that. Amen. Long as the feet's clean and they're in the gospel shoes. Amen. It'll take care of the rest of it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. It'll be all right. Amen. If you can get them feet clean. Amen. Into the shoes of God. The gospel will steer you and the gospel will keep you. It'll make you holy. Amen. It'll make you righteous. Amen. It'll give you something to live for. And it'll give you something to die for. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank you, brother. Amen. I, 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 well, yeah, please help me. I get to stuttering and I can't speak. Would you raise your hand? Amen. Toward the Lord and just help, help me just a minute. God, just give me strength for just a while longer. Just a while longer, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, help me, brother. Turn me off a piece of that, Amen. I went down through the uh, through the uh, the uh, the airports uh, in different places and walking down through the airports and and they'd have uh, they'd have in that place to have have the old shoe shine uh, fellows, you know, and they'd sitting there in them shoes and uh, things. And they, when I when I was in the service, hey, Amen. They put a pair of combat boots on me, hey, Amen. I thought that was all it was to it. I walked out to the first formation. That drill sergeant walked up to me and he said, "Son, said your boots is crying to me." Praise God. I said, "What in the world are you talking about?" He said, "They're crying kiwi, kiwi, hallelujah." Praise God. And that kiwi polish, you know, that old boot polish. Hey, Amen. I I got the point. Hey, Amen. He he was pretty pointed at points. Praise God. Amen. And, and, I, and when he did, amen, I, I tried to I make it a purpose of shining my shoes. And when I was in the army of our army of the United States of America, amen, I'll tell you what I'd like to do right now. Amen. I'd like to take an opportunity, amen, to shine some shoes. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you took that, that old shoe right there, United States Marine Corps, amen, has a, has a little pamphlet on morale. Amen. And inside is pamphlet on morale. That's called esprit de corps. Amen. And while in that uh, a pamphlet on morale, uh, it says if you see anybody, amen, in your platoon, uh, amen, that's neglecting the shining of their shoes. Uh, he said they're, uh, they're depressed or downhearted. He uh, said you need to bring that soldier apart uh, and teach him how to shine his shoes. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, how beautiful are your feet with shoes. Oh, princess daughter. Hey, Ben, I, have you ever wanted to just, I wanted to uh, praise God. We're going to uh, give me a song, somebody. Hey, Ben, please, uh, uh, please get me a song right now. Hey, Ben, I want to uh, pass this around. Uh, have you ever wanted to, to shine somebody's shoes? Uh, you may have thought that was too little for you. Hey, Ben, but I'm telling you right now, I I feel like we ought to grab a piece of paper towel. Hey, Ben, we got plenty of mud outside to wash off. Hey, Ben, let's grab us a piece of paper towel. Hey, Ben, grab somebody. Hey, Ben, you sisters, grab a sister. And your brothers, grab a brother. And we're not going to have an old-fashioned shoe of foot washing. But we're going to have a brand new old-fashioned shoe shining. Hallelujah. Would you come on to the house? Come on to the altar of God saying, sister. Hey, Ben, grab one of them. And let's make preparation. Of our feet. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Praise God, you young folks. You grab one of these men that you got so much respect for. Hey man, you grab a hold of them. Thank you, brother. Hey man, you grab a hold of them and you shine their shoes. Hey man. And I tell you what's going to happen is uh, these men, uh, hey man, will grab a hold of that same rag. Hey man, they'll turn around and they'll shine your shoes. <laughs> 
Oh, would you help? Would you praise the Lord while you're doing it? And would you worship God while you're letting Him bless you? Amen. Would you let the God of heaven, amen, turn you, amen, from yourself, amen, unto another? Amen. Would you let the, let the generation that you are, amen, bear witness, bear witness, Lord of God, Lord of God. Lord of God, Lord of God, Lord of God. I know it's a little unusual. Amen. I, 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 but I really believe the Lord gave this to me. Amen. Would you come on? Amen. Come on. Praise God. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah.